So the question for today is, assuming that I studied very hard, does getting worse grades mean that I'm more stupid or less intelligent? Okay, you might think, of course lah, what a, what a stupid question to ask, right? And naturally, you assume that we have less potential, you know, we are less intelligent compared to someone else that does better. Okay, but today, I want you to stop and think. Okay, does intelligence only mean memorizing information and vomiting information? <laughs> okay, I mean, answering questions. And the answer to that question is no. Okay, why? Okay, let me introduce you to the concept of multiple intelligences by Howard Garner. Okay, um, you can go on Google and find out more. But in summary, he says that there are seven different kinds of intelligences that all human beings have. Okay, for example, um, musical rhythmic intelligence, right? The ability to differentiate sounds and rhythms. And these people are generally better at, you know, composing music, you know, uh, playing musical instruments, singing, for example. You know, or you have interpersonal intelligence, right? The ability to be sensitive to other people's emotions and feelings and motivations. And these people are generally better at communicating or working in a group. Okay, or you have kinesthetic intelligence, right? <laughs> Basically moving one's body, you know. Uh, and these people are generally better at sports, right? So understand that there are multiple intelligences and if you want to find out what you're more inclined towards, you can go and take the test, Google it and take the test, okay? But basically you need to understand that there are multiple different kinds of intelligences. All right, so now that you understand this concept, let's go back to the earlier question. Can my grades fully measure my intelligence and my potential? Okay, and if you've been paying attention, yeah, the answer is no. Okay, because formal education favors a specific kind of intelligence. Right? Formal education focuses on two main things. Right? Number one, specific uh, syllabus and subjects. And number two, grades and assessment. Okay, and that essentially favors abstract intelligence. Right? The ability to understand you know, abstract concepts, formulas, symbols, okay, and link them together and answer questions. However, it cannot measure well other forms of intelligence. Right? It cannot measure your ability to communicate, you know, to lead, you know, to create art or play music, for example. Right? It's impossible for grades to measure the, the breadth and depth of your talents and abilities. Right? And to, to use grades as the only measure of your potential is an insult to you and the human race. Okay, so please, okay, I hope this video gives you some awareness uh, of the different kinds of intelligences that you might have, you know, so that from now on, right, you don't let your worth and your potential be defined by a couple of letters on a piece of paper. Okay, so I hope you remember that and you stay resilient.